A Beartooth device is a device that is meant for off-grid communications with your smartphone. Now, is your smartphone a good off-grid communications prepper tool? Why not? Why wouldn't it be? Yes, you're gonna lose cell phone range. If you don't wanna be tracked, you can turn certain things off. If you really don't wanna be tracked, you can use one of the Faraday defense bags, such as the one that I did at the deer lease with the test of the HT inside of it, okay? But leaving that all aside for the moment, depending on what your view is on that, Beartooth interfaces with ATAC, the Android Team Awareness Kit, which is a really cool application to do team tracking, team communications on an Android device. But if you leave cell phone range, if you leave 4G, 5G tower range, if you leave Wi-Fi range, how are your phones going to communicate with one another? Let's find out today. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio, guys. This is not ham radio, but this is communications off-grid, so I like to talk about it. I want to do some more videos on ATAC, so if somebody knows a little bit about ATAC, give me a shout. But today we're talking about the Beartooth devices. These are brand new devices. Now, the Beartooth device has been out for a long time few years, I don't remember exactly what it was. Prior to this, it used to be an interface, a device of itself that would communicate between themselves. This one is a brand new design. It Bluetooths to your smart smartphone and it allows your smartphone to use the Beartooth device as basically like a off-grid or disconnected modem. So what that means by off-grid is it's not connected to an infrastructure. It's not connected to a cell tower. It doesn't have a SIM card. It has its own internal battery and it doesn't require Wi-Fi, it doesn't require tower or infrastructure of, of any kind. It powers up, you Bluetooth it to your device, and then they work as a mesh modem. It works as a wireless mesh modem to where you can interface two or three or more of them together, and through a mesh network type topology, they will communicate with one another. You can send text messages, which are read out loud. You can send broadcast messages. You can send picture messages. A note in the owner's manual that says you can send a picture of a suspicious vehicle or something like that. That's kind of fun. So let's take a look at this real quick because uh, special thanks to Beartooth for sending these to me. I really wanted to do a review of these. These are just about to drop. I'm recording these shortly before this new version drops, so I wanted to get it out there. So check this out. All right, we've got on the table here, this is the new Beartooth device right here. So you've got a QR code on it right there. This is a nice 3D printed case. It comes with this antenna on it. This is just a standard SMA connector. Those of you who are not in ham radio may not know what SMA is, but that's an SMA female port right there on top of this. It's a very common type of antenna connector used on a lot of ham radios and a lot of GMRS radios today. This is an SMA male antenna. So since it is removable, it does work with other antennas. So if you've got a bigger antenna or a extra, more external antenna, some sort of magma on your vehicle, you could always connect it to that too. This is a 3D printed case. This belt clip right here, your, your belt can go through this. This part right here is made, this clip doesn't move. This is all kind of molded together right here. I'll get some close up pictures of it. But there's plenty of space right there for the belt to go through. You can kind of see that. So you can put a really sturdy like military belt or police gear belt go through there and put that on the back of your belt like that and kind of carry it around with the antenna sticking out like that and then you can interface it to your phone your tablet uh, whatever you want and you're walking around outside off grid somewhere in a camp somewhere up a mountain somewhere just out of cell phone range really today we're going to go to the beach and test it but which i'm in cell phone range in the beach but i've got my devices turned off in fact two of the devices don't even have sim cards in them but this is the modem right here. One of the cool things you can see like this is that right there, I don't know how, hopefully that's, I'll get a shot of that. This is the on off switch right here. And this is a USB-C recharging port. So it recharges via standard USB-C, which is right there. That's the belt right there. Showed a little bit closer like that, that kind of thing. And then you can interface this specific di device with its specific serial number to your app, or you can just turn it on and let it Bluetooth to itself. If you're trying to do more than one, it might help to scan the QR code. But that's it right there. And this is what 
This is the ATOS application. Now, right now, it's not loading my maps because I am in, not because I'm out of cell phone range, but because this, this tablet right here, this is an R Finder tablet. This is a rugged, hardened 10 inch tablet made by R Finder. Go check more information about them on rfinder.net. I've done a lot of videos on their products. I really like their products and they work very well. So this right here is not loading the map in ATAC. ATAC. This is the ATAC application. It's not loading the map right now because I'm in cell phone range, but I'm not really. Let's turn off Wi-Fi. See if that does anything right there. But that's okay because guess what? This is the type of thing that it's used for. Okay, so I have got this, uh, the Beartooth plugin installed, and that's what you'll see in this icon right here. This little red icon looks like an infinity symbol or two rings down at the bottom there. Go in there. There's the Bluetooth device it says it's connected to, and that's the serial number. It gives you the battery level. The network ID comes, comes up as 5150. Uh, by default, I changed it to 7373. Those of you in ham radio will recognize that. You can turn encryption off and on. It's off by default. You can share your location off, and you can turn that off and on. It's on by default. M minimum distance is 40 meters. Minimum update interval is 10 seconds. And you can turn this to silent if you don't want to read text messages out loud. Do a network scan. Add Beartooth device on map, Beartooth group, and that kind of thing. So right there. And then we can go in here and go to contacts, and you can see... In fact, I named this one right here Romeo Foxtrot for RF, for R Finder. You can name, that, that's, my, that's my current call sign as according to ATAC running Bluetooth, running Beartooth. So you can name your call sign whatever you want to. Alpha, the alpha call sign is currently connected to a, another one of these devices and a smartphone that's upstairs right above me right now. So I can connect here. Yes, I can send that. He says sent and delivered. And right now that message is being read on, read out loud on the Android phone that's upstairs that's out of my range right now. So I want to take this down to the beach, do some range testing with it, kind of look and see what they look like. This is both the triangle right there is me. The square underneath it, which it may be hard to see in the camera, is the alpha device. So I'm going to take it out and get some range on it and see what it looks like on the map. Okay, so we're out of here at the beach. I've moved out here. You can see all the way up and down the beach right there. That's the Gulf of Mexico behind me. That's pointed west right there. Okay, and directly behind me, you can see right there, in between those two houses is my house. So I'll move back out of the camera. It's right there, kind of behind that telephone pole. And I've got one of the Beartooth devices on the deck. So it's probably about... 20 feet in the air. It's on the rail of the deck, not sitting on the floor of the deck. Maybe 25, 20, 25 feet in the air, something like that. And I can see it on the screen on this right here. So right now I've got Alpha and my tablet is known as Romeo Foxtrot, like I said. So that's probably about, I don't know, 50, 60 yards, maybe 70 yards, something like that. I don't know how far that is exactly. But I can see them on the map. Now here to the map and go zoom in on myself. Locked on Romeo Froxtrot. And see, we're still pretty close together. We're still pretty close to one another, even though it's all the way over there. So that's like probably 75, 100 yards away right there. So, I mean, that's good that it's got such good range in it. And I'll zoom in on the map here real quick and get a shot of that. So there you can see, and it's still not loading the map. And I don't know if maybe there's a setting in ATOS I have to tell it to enable to load the map uh, over uh, 4G or Wi-Fi. Again, this, this tablet here has got a SIM card in it. So it should be loading the map. I don't know why it's not. But it's actually kind of a good test that it's not doing that because the point of using this device is to say, hey, I'm out of cell phone range. I'm out of Wi-Fi range. I can't connect to the interwebs, as it were but I want to communicate with my Beartooth buddies. And that's exactly what you're seeing on the screen right now. The triangle in the middle is the GPS location for my own device, that's where I am. And the square just to the top left of it, I don't know if that's northeast or not, 
that's actually not north. No, that can't be it. So I could probably orient the map to go true north, south, east, west, but I haven't done that. But the squared on the top of it is obviously the alpha device over there. And if I wanted to put up the Bravo device and put it down the beach right there, I could do that. And it would mesh together. So it would bounce off of that one and bounce off of this one. And then once you got out of range of one, it would stay connected to the other one and vice versa. So it's a really great system for communicating off grid, tracking each other. If you're out, if you're out hiking a mountain together, well, summits on the air and ham radio is a good, good thing or is a good example of where it would be used. If you're hiking out in the woods, if you're, if you're part of an overland or a Jeep club that goes out and finds places that are outside of cell phone range and that's where you set up camp, hey, this would work great for that purpose as well. So I'm really kind of impressed with the way this device works. I do really think there's a good application for it. They're usually sold in pairs, so you can buy two at a time or four at a time, and that way you can give one to your buddy or give one to your group or something like that. And you can set up your own group, you can encrypt it. You can rename the uh, network name to whatever you want. You can rename your call sign. Again, I renamed my tablet call sign to Romeo Foxtrot. Originally, it came, to, it came up as Levi. I don't know why, but that's what it came up as. So it came up as Levi. My, uh, the two phones that I got as, with the test system, those were Alpha and Bravo. But I, I assume that he probably named those himself. Michael over at Beartooth uh, sent me this so I could do a, a video on it prior to him releasing the brand new version of this device. So check out the link in the description below. Special thanks to Beartooth for letting me demo this, let me, letting me test it, let me see kind of how it works and whatnot. And um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below.